All right, welcome to Rick's Aquatics this evening. And we are going to just take a look here at my big 220 gallon tank. It's uh, quite a busy tank. And I've got a pair of jags down here that I put in here. Um, I really don't want any more jag fry. I've got plenty right now, but it looks like they're gonna try to give me some more. So we'll probably see some funny things here as they defend their little spot here. They never seem to hurt anybody, but they sure go after them. A little Midas hybrid right there, parrotfish. And then my arowana, probably 16, 17 inches long, 5, 10, 4 barbs, and then a very fat knife. He gorged himself today on pellets. And um, he always does that. He just eats like a pig. Uh, Saturday, I believe it was, he discovered Calypia for the first time. And here's my big Oscar behemoth. And I, he's uh, 15 inches. He's huge. And people sometimes don't believe me, but he is a big boy. So. And I've got my red pike cichlid. And a 10 inch Oscar. You can see the difference in size there. And then I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous. Ornate Bashir and a gold Psalm. And we have this giant, um, I'm going to blank on the name of the catfish right now, but it's an upside down catfish. And I've got a boat of loach that just went to hiding. He's down in there. He's just out swimming around. Maybe he'll come back out and I can get a. Sedontis, that's the catfish there, the Sedontis uh, feather fin, or upside down catfish. That's my male jag. And then underneath there's my female. It's a really fun tank. I really enjoy this tank a whole lot. So. I know they uh, cannot all stay in here. I do have a 300 gallon pond that some of these will go to once I get it cleared out a little bit more. And the Jaguar cichlids will get their own tank. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching. You click like and subscribe for Rick's Aquatics. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care.